Let's see how this bad boy works. Uh, okay, so I use the same power supply that I use for my, my photon. Okay, mode. Wash. Two minutes, so I got a little thing in there, put it in the cage. Mm -hmm. Let's see if we get a vortex up here. Oh damn. Holy Hannah. That's pretty good. Because my old setup was I had a little magnetic stir with this little printable tray. And I tried printing a freaking propeller impeller for it. With little magnets in there. It did not work. But this guy, this this has some movement. So that is definitely going to stir it pretty well, so that's better than any DIY setup I've seen. Like I said, I tried printing some propellers and they did not work. Alright, so let's see. Turn on. That was two minutes? Oh, it's changing directions. That makes sense. Smart, smart. That is a nice little vortex it's creating. <laughs> Alright, let's see. So next I'll go to cure mode. I'll have to put on the little tray thingy. Okay, yeah, so... According to the manual, after this I'll have to put this little tray thing in there. I wonder how it spins. Oh, there must be a hole down there, I didn't see. Okay. So I'll stop the video and I'll come back when that is done. Alright, now we're going to change this to cure. It's the same two minutes. Ooh, bright light. A jewelry display. Look at my beautiful jewelry. Ooh. How dangerous is looking at this? It's supposed to block 99.9995 of the UV rays. I'm guessing it should be safe. Slight curing time. We have a model of the diameter of less than 30 millimeters. Time of two minutes. Yeah, that's a pretty small model. Da -da -da. If the lid is removed during operation, the program will be paused. Let's, let's, let's test that out. Sweet safety features. <laughs> cool. Safety features are good, so dumb kids don't burn their retinas. <laughs> 